Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now, this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out that PC, but above all, make it cool. Now, today we're talking about customizing some of those themes in Windows 7. Now, I know we've talked about themes before, both in XP and in OS 10, but guys, you got to see this. They really did it right on Windows 7. Let's get started. All right, so now, as I was saying in earlier episodes, yes, Windows 7 is still really new, and, you know, nobody's really sick of it yet, I don't think, but this is Pimp My PC, so we definitely try to personalize it a bit more. And one of the things I found out is that you don't need any third-party software whatsoever to get these custom themes done, which was very cool because if you remember, in, uh, in XP and in OS X, we kind of had to go some, uh, some third-party software in order to get those themes on. Uh, Windows 7, not so much. So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually some of the themes that come right out of the box because those are pretty robust as well. Yeah, that's right. I said robust. Uh, so right-click anywhere on your desktop, and we're going to head down to Personalize. And that's going to open up uh, the screen here that's going to show you all the different themes that, um, that actually come included with it. So you can see you've got a list of uh, arrow themes, uh, architecture, characters, landscapes, things like that. And then you also have um, what are called uh, the basic and high contrast themes. And these kind of cracked me up because uh, if you ever played around with uh, old DOS windows and things of that, you remember that black background versus the white one that's uh, in the operating systems today. So you can actually go really old school if that's what you want to do. But as I was saying, this has been my PC, so we want to customize it. So before I actually go uh, show you the, the process to do it, I'll actually just show you off a couple of uh, the custom themes that I've already built. And uh, the first one is uh, my Spidey theme. And as you can see, I'll just minimize that, and uh, there's Spidey in all his glory. Uh, another one, uh, just to show you how quick it is to, to switch your themes up, we'll go to my Unleash theme. So go to my other passion, which is the Star Wars. So uh, having said that, let's get started and show you how to customize your own themes so you can do it at home. So again, we're just going to right-click anywhere on the desktop, going to go to Personalize, and then you'll see at the bottom here, you've got a list of desktop background, window color, your sounds, and the screensaver. And that's pretty much where you're going to pick all your, uh, all your choices. So desktop background, we'll, uh, it automatically opens up in my pictures because I've done this before. And um, we'll go with this one because uh, there's a new Unleash that's going to be coming out soon, and I'm so stoked for it. So we're going to select that. I'm going to save the changes. So then that picture is then going to become my desktop background. I've seen it before, nothing new there. Now the window color we're going to pick is, uh, that's going to be your taskbar border. Uh, basically any window that you open up, that's going to be the color that kind of frames it. So that's when, that one's really important as well. And what's cool is you can actually mess with the intensity of this and do some other things like in the uh, color mixer as well. Just sort of get it that, uh, that perfect saturation of that perfect hue. Yeah, that's right, I said hue. So uh, what we're going to pick uh, for this one, let's, uh, let's keep it kind of dark. And uh, I'm going to go with chocolate. That seems kind of dark, and I think that'll uh, complement that uh, desktop pick pretty good. So now we've got that. Again, we're going to click on Save Changes. And they made it so that you can even change your system sounds as well. And that's the next one we're going to do. And if you remember when you were trying to do this in XP, everything was scattered around, and it just kind of made it a big pain in the ass to try to customize your own themes. Well, they put it in a one-stop shop here, so it's very cool. Uh, so we got Windows default here. Let's just uh, we'll go Festival, because I will celebrate the release of that game. So we'll say OK to that. And uh, pick a screensaver while we're at it. Why not, right? We're here. So these are the ones that actually just come right out of the box. You could probably grab some other ones online somewhere. But uh, just for convenience, we're going to show you the ones that came with it. So just on the uh, drop-down menu here, you'll see what actually came with Windows 7. I'm digging Mystify, so we'll just stick with it. So we'll just cancel out of that. And uh, once you have it looking the way you want it, sounding the way you want it, um, just take a quick uh, perusal. We'll take a, take a look at it. She looks good. She looks good. So now you want to go back to your personalization. And you can see just in the top left-hand corner here, you've got Unsave Theme now. So now once you have it the way you want it to look and sound, right-click on it. We're going to click on Save Theme. And we'll just call this Unleashed 2 because I already have one. Save it, and it's done. You've got a custom theme. And just to show you guys the ease of changing it out, we'll go back to the, uh, to the default Windows 7. So you can see that that's changed. And the ease of putting on that theme that you just saw me build, just as easy. So we'll just click on that, select it, and just like that, got my new theme on. So you might not have time, or maybe you're a little bit lazy. I don't know. 
Maybe you don't want to build your own custom themes. There's a ton of other places where you can actually download those Windows 7 themes. And uh, the first one that comes to mind is the Microsoft side itself. Trusted true. Don't have to worry about viruses, things of that nature. Probably not as much variety as you would want, but um, that's a good place to start as any. So that's today's pimp, and that's today's show. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. Going to teach you how to make those custom themes yourself for Windows 7. And if not that, at least where to download them. One other quick thing I wanted to say was give a shout out to my man, George Hansen. He's one of our biggest fans here at Pimp My PC, and he actually gave us an idea for an episode we did just recently. So I wanted to say good looking out, and uh, George, you keep it unique. I'm Lucas, you guys. Keep watching. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.